Red is going to the old computer club? <gasps> he found me. There you are, crackers. I found you. I thought you could run off with my cheese. We'll think again. Damn it, Kenny. It's this wingnut again. Does this guy seem under control to you? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Basement. I'm your host, the bird. My name is Falcon. We're checking out the story mode update. We already covered the first level of the story mode. Today, we got the second one going on here today. Um, as I mentioned with the first video, though, um, if we finish this level here today, we're technically done with the update. But if you'd like to see a bit more of Basement on the channel, meanwhile, we can check out into sandbox mode, start up our empire this way, deal with a couple of AI factions and um, buildings, and, you know, just build up the old drug empire up. But for now, let's go into second level. Damn, Kenny. This is just great. We blew all our money on chips. All we got left is 200 bucks. How'd you spend that much money on chips, dude? Like, I guess like hardcore case of the munchies. Don't worry, we'll get some more. Okay, so how are we gonna do that? Make 7,000, okay. Well, you know how it is. You down here. You take over that one. You take over that one. Oh, that's a new gang right there. Oh, that's Miguel's office. Oh, buddy. Red is going out to... Excuse me? Hey, hey, we're about to get attacked. How? Oh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, uh, uh, uh. Hey, what's happening, boys? And what you got slinging? You selling a little green? Oh, yeah. What do you want? Well, the fact is, you're on my cheesy territory. You're gonna need to pay me some kickback if you want to keep your crackers. Any questions? Uh... Hey, don't worry, nobody's gonna get crumbled. Just pay me 420 every two days, huh? You better be sure. You got it when I come by. I'm not sure why he sounds like a cross of, like, you know, Hispanic and Italian. <laughs> hey, I'm just really failing on this guy's, um, a uh, little uh, supposed accent here. So, 420 every two days. And your first payment starts right now. Show me the money. But, what did you say? You want me to snip off your little cheese balls? No, no. Crap, it's fine. Here's your 420. Oh, of course it would be 420. Do we have 420? We have 757. As more like it. And you better be sure you got the next payment when I come back, eh? Keep cracking. Alright. Well, we're gonna get shooken down now. Jesus, dude. No kidding. We need to do something and do it quick. Got any ideas, Super Seller? I got it. We need a second base and one that Tupa doesn't know about. There's no computer club nearby. We can make another base and move in there. That'll be the plan. We'll keep paying that jerk for now so he doesn't finish us off. Meanwhile, we set up another base at the old computer club. We'll equip the new base and then everything's ready. We'll tear this place down and that a-hole will never find us. Hmm. You think it'll be that easy? My little cheese balls tell me that's a bad idea. Nah, it'll be fine. I've done this a thousand times. By the way, it goes without saying that we shouldn't try to move into buildings controlled by gangs. They'll wipe the floor with us. We should try to avoid them. Hmm. So that's what we're gonna take over. I like how in this game's world, we could go to a establishment somewhere, wipe the people out there, and make it into a drug lab. It's like if you walked into, like, you know, I don't know, Best Buy or something, and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna destroy everything here and turn it into a drug lab. Nobody will ever suspect a thing. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. I'm um, in order to do that. We have to beat up those dudes, right? Let's hire Forrest Now on the upside, I do have to just do like a one-time hire It's gonna cost me a little bit of money as you can see though, but even if they go out and get killed, it's fine So you my man are gonna come down over here Forrest Gump Choose him and attack. Just go over there. Kill whatever you can. You probably are gonna die in the process. But that's fine. <laughs> What's a little bit of murder among competition in the city out here, huh? So there he goes. He got bodied. No surprise there. I'm gonna hire Anna. And Peter Gabriel. And we're sending both of them to assault. I'm just hoping that it'll kind of like, you know, so instead of like five of these dudes punching one guy at the same time, it'll disperse the damage a little bit. So choose you. Choose you. And tack it up. And even if it dies, not a big problem. I mean, it means I just have to pay him anymore. Although I'm gonna fire him right after they kill, so there is that. Oh, we got a bit of a bottleneck happening over here. 
There we go, there we go. Knockout. Come on. Yeah, you see? The two, definitely the two was a good idea. Dispersing the damage around. Yeah, they won. So now, hold up, hold up. Hey, I was gonna fire them. Nice! The old computer cloud is ours. Sweet. Wanna play some Dota? Don't make me drag out my Dragon Balls, but first we need to set up a new base. I already showed you everything, so I'll let you do it yourself this time. We can't be- we can't keep paying that jerk, so we need to hurry up and build a new base so we can move. Not bad. Maybe I should take a bigger cut. I think now I charge you 800 every couple days. I'll keep it up, guys. But that's impossible. What's that jibber-jabber? Something about your cheese balls? I, I was saying it's too much. It's impossible. And you want me to show you how I slice up a cheese ball? I'll show you right now. No, no, everything's fine. 800 it is. In fact, that's just great. In fact, it couldn't be better. We'll pay you 800 from now on. Thank you. That's good then. See you in two days. Gunther, what's up with the new base? Everything ready? We need to hurry. Yeah, yeah, everything's almost ready. No, it's not! Excellent. When the new base is ready, we'll move and sell the equipment from the garage. We need money. And as for Tupo, we'll leave him holding up an empty building. Right, cool, let's do it. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out too well. <laughs> Alright, let's sell everything down here momentarily. Sell this. We need to get out of here. I can't pay this guy $800. That's, that's insane. Alright, so that's sold up. Um, we need to dig underground. Well, let's just keep it going in real time for now. Um, we need to also dig this out. We're gonna have to dig that out. We know we need all this space, right? Okay, we can't go further down, so that's fine. Slow it down momentarily now. Uh, we're at 779. Let's build ourselves... Um, well, let's start off with the... I'm gonna start off with the generator all the way at the end, because we need your power anyway. That's a given. I don't like you here, by the way. I would like to sell you and rebuild you down here. Because my idea is we set up the stalls, like, here and here. Or maybe here and here. And this will be, like, a... A place to put the drugs. This will be a resting area. This is where I produce. Or I could produce... I could even produce over here, actually, which would be a little bit smarter. So, um, production... Here. Selling stall... Actually, no, no, that... We said that's gonna be... This is gonna be couch area. Right? And then we'll sell this one. <laughs> Two days. We still got time. We still got time. Um, so we have the production now. This will be shelves. Sales room. But we have this just about set up how I want it. Then we obviously a... Hmm. I wonder, I know we're going to sell the stuff here, but I wonder if we could keep at least the the um, locker rooms. If you keep those in the separate bases, you still get to keep the uh, the bigger pool of higher ease. So I wonder if that's a thing, if we have to sell that too. Alrighty, so I think um, we are good now. Sell that away. So we're completely gone from here. There's nothing here left over. So is that it? Because I don't want to pay homeboy right now. I think we are good. So yeah, build room, build room. There's nothing here left over of mine. So he's going to be rolling into, now as a matter of fact, into a completely opened, or at least a completely vacant lot. Alright, what's up? You got my money? I'm not even there. Why, why am I talking to him? You sure are some full crackers? Thought you could cheese with me? Where's my money? There's no money for you. We're not on your territory anymore. What? My territory may be so, but I'll cheese all of you at the same time. Get ready, I'll find you. And I'll cheese you right in your crackers. Damn, Kenny. You really landed us in some crap. What did you get us into? Oh, just relax. I've done this a thousand times. He's done everything a thousand times. Sure, but whose territory are we on now? This is Miguel's territory. Why? I thought so. Maybe it'd be a good idea if we contacted him and let him know we're here. If he found out later, he'll probably come over and beat the crap out of us. Well, yeah, Gunther, that's a good idea. Let's give him a call or something. Great, here's my phone. Call him. Uh, why you want me to do it? It was your idea. Call him yourself. Crap, fine. Give me the number. Okay, we're gonna contact Miguel now. Who owned the drug lab that we apparently robbed last time? Hello, Miguel? Hello? Hey, no need no slow motion MF is in my phone now, you dig? It's Gunther and Kenny. Oh yeah, he knows us so well. We have a business prop uh, proposal for you. What the hell are you talking about? We have a small green business, and it turns out that our business is in your territory. So we thought maybe we should come to an arrangement. Yeah. Green, you'll say. Okay. We well, were right to call. We can work together. 
You could even sell me some of your crap. Every two days, I'll take 10 grand from you for 7.45. Um, let's make it an even 7.50. Ha <laughs> ha, you got some balls. All right, two days. I'll be waiting for you the first delivery. Don't screw this up or you'll be biting down hard like a bee. Nice going, Gunther. You sure you haven't done this before? I don't know, man. The hell, my knees are shaking. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking we can do. Because we need to get 10 in two days. All right, first and foremost, Donald, fire your ass. Get out of here. Kenny, don't sell product anymore. You can go and um, rest. Let me get you off of that job first. We're going to rest first. Okay, it's fine. We can't sell anymore. That much I do know. So just turn that off. Go and rest now. We can't sell anymore. Can I upgrade? Oh, I can't upgrade. I have to make another grow box, I think. Oh, here's what we do. Build room. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm gonna have Kenny help me grow. He's not a good grower, but for now he's gonna have to do. Then you, sell. Sell. I, the grow box, at least for the, oh, we gotta put it here. So, oh, we have to do a lot of like rearranging around. But I think if we make that over there, sell this off now, this is where the grow box is going to be. No, this should be where the sofa is going to be. Build room. Sofa. You sell. You just chill there for a second. Right now, I'm going to have you start growing some for us. So build room. Another grow box. We have enough power for everything? Yes, we do. Okay, so then you down here. Okay, I think hopefully this is enough. We've still got two days, but at least we have two people producing. He's a terrible producer for now, but it's going to have to do. At least we're not selling the product away. Okay, we're at a four. Gunther, I know this one dude who fitted up a grow box with all kinds of tubes in the bottles. Basically a bunch of useful crap for improving grow- Oh! Finally, the, the upgrades to the grow box. With an improved grow box, we could produce more product faster. Hell yeah, just in time. We might be able to make Miguel's order. Okay, so hey. Slow, slow down, slow down. Upgrade. Do it. Can I upgrade both of you guys? Oh, we don't have enough power. We can only upgrade one. Way the way. We still have like five. We have one upgraded. So it should be cool, I think, hopefully. Get your rest in. We got 20 hours for three product. We could definitely do this. Yeah, we got this. Oh boy, just in the buzzer, too. We got it. 10. Jeez Louise. See, <laughs> I'm glad I did that because um, had I kept selling. There's no way we'd have got 10 in time, even with the grow box upgrade. Because we got like a couple of hours before they show up and we barely have product. We would have been basically pushing all that 11 product out the door as well. So I'm glad I decided to get rid of Donald and stop selling for a while. Perfect. And now instead of selling, we're being we're producing now, which is um intriguing. What's up? The crap ready? Yeah, here's 10 green just like we agreed. Looking good. Here's your 750, keep it up. See you in two days for the next batch. Great, see you then. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep you guys as just growers for now. I would like to, I mean, we don't need money though, do we? We don't need money. If it's just them too, we don't need money at the moment. So I'm gonna say we could just like hire somebody now, have them push a little bit of extra green on the side. I mean, with one extra person, we wouldn't. Oh, but I don't have enough power. Yeah, see the Jenny's already tapped out. And I don't think um, just me on my grow box alone would be enough. Well, technically we're already at that point, but that's because two people are working at it. Because I was say, what we could do is get rid of the grow box now, have Gunther just do his thing. You go upstairs and start selling. But no, no, I don't think we need the money. It's fine. Just um, let's continue speeding the time up over here. And let's see how far this has to go for. New room upgrades are available. Oh, but my other quest is to make 7,000 cash. Although we could definitely just do that by selling green over and over. Oh, you know what I could do as well? Here's my other idea. Where do you have what we needed product, right? Well, we have a seller. Kenny, come over there and start selling. There you go. Yep, it's ready. Perfect. So basically, the key to the key to success here is to get rid of um, my second seller. Not bad. I think I'm about. It's about time we increase the volume. I'm gonna give you two days. Twenty green. Oh, okay. We can't sell anymore now. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not sure we can handle that much. Dig deep. Or I'll bust out your teeth with my iron thang. Two days, I'll be coming for the next batch. 20 green, and I'll pay you 1700. I'll be back. Okay, um... 
hey, you know what? Can't do it no more. <laughs> you have to come down here and produce with me. Um, can I get 20, by the way? Like, okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do for power. Sell that off. Shouldn't this give me, like, um, freed up power? Oh, here's the... Yeah, ding dong, the answer was in front of you all the time. Just make another one of these. Hey, you can't figure it out. Look at this guy. Um, how much brother do we have? We have 10? We still got 10 days. Okay. So this should give us power to upgrade homeboy's box here. Okay, that's that's the answer there. I don't know why. He just didn't dawn on me to just make another generator. Okay, so we got two improved grow boxes. Can we make this batch? We're at 13. 14. There's still a day. Five more. Yeah, we're, we should be able to produce five in. Yeah, that's good. Oh, boy. All right. For a second there, I couldn't solve the puzzle. I was like, well, what am I missing here? But we got it this time. And I guess since we still have to make this much money, um, after we got the 20 here, we can start pushing homeboy up there. Now, the problem is if he asks for 30, then I'm completely boned. What's up? The product ready? Yep, 20. They gave me 1,700 more. I mean, technically speaking, I don't even have to risk it. I could just sell product to him until we get to 7,000 that way. Because all we really do need right now is, like, what? Roughly two more... Two more orders. There, you see, Gunther? I told you to keep your panties dry. Everything's under control. And I told you I had a bad feeling. Dude, you're leaving a puddle. Please, don't don't jinx it. Okay, everything's fine at the moment. Let's keep it up. Uh-oh. Hey, um... Red is going to the old computer club? <gasps> he found me. And by the way, I got like six... I need a six more product in 15 hours. What? There you are, crackers. I found you. I thought you could run off with my cheese. We'll think again. Damn it, Kenny. It's this wingnut again. Does this guy seem under control to you? Where'd that MF for come from? God damn. Thank you, idiot. What are we gonna do? I don't want to die. This is Miguel's territory, right? Tupel can't capture our base unless he wants to answer to Miguel. Yeah, but we're already be fish food by then. We gotta figure out something to distract them. That's it. I got it. What'd you come up with this time? Don't be such a pee. I've done this a thousand times. Hand me the phone. Um, I'm not losing HP, am I? I hope not. Hello! I mean, I am, but I'm actually beating him up, oddly enough. Hello, Miguel? Hello? I need no flat fold honkies today. I'm feeding my pets. Go on and get back. No, no, I need to share some very important information with you. A couple of days ago, I saw some of Tupo's guys cleaning out a drugstore. And like one of yours. Oh my god, he's gonna pin that on Tupo. Ah, oh, so that's the MF. I'm gonna put some crap on that dude. Thanks for the word, boys. Get you back. Get you back on the honey kind. Okay, I think I might survive that one. Tell me I'm done here, because I don't think I can still make that 20 wheat thing. So Miguel's gag is just like wiping out the tupos. This is for my drugstore, Tupo. I know you're the one who knocked it over. What are you saying, you cracker? I'll tear you apart. Oh, it doesn't seem like you are. Oh, they're all infighting now. <laughs> I'm no longer in control. I can't do anything else. I gotta watch all this go down. You're gonna find out what happens when you cheese with me. You done messed up now. I'm gonna put your D on a stick. Okay. Oh my god, these guys are just going all out war. That's what Kenny just did right now. He caused all out war. And if these people find out we're the ones who mess with them, we're boned. I mean, assume there's any of them left over. You little bee, this is my territory now. Cheese and crackers, this is war, Miguel. Goddamn right. This is war, Tupo. I don't know how I fit into this equation. Well, freaking hell, Kenny. You sure made a mess. Don't worry about it. I've done this a I've I've incited wars among gangs a thousand times before. Well, we survived. That's Kenny. That's Gunther. Who the hell's the guy in the green umbrella that I'm handing cash to? Is he the guy who makes you disappear from Breaking Bad? Gunther met a great programmer. He had the cash to start developing his game. And he had all kinds of ideas for new game mechanics. 
In the Chinese restaurant across the road, Kenny was already waiting for Gunter. <laughs> They're wanted. That's hilarious. We need to figure out the situation with Tupo and Miguel. It's too expensive dealing with those scumbags. We need to come up with another way to sell our goods. The faces darkened and dotted, and suddenly, Hua Zhu approached him, the owner, cook, waiter, and cleaner of the restaurant. What's the deal here? Can I help you, boy, with something? Asked Hua Zhu Zhao. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. <laughs> I'm just trying to give it my best here. It was obvious that his restaurant was circling the drain. But then Gunter had another brilliant idea. Alright, I can see that. He's got exclamation marks. That's it. Level complete. That's unfortunately all the um, levels here at the moment, too. I have a feeling, since there's a lot of inspiration by Breaking Bad here, in a weird way, I just have a feeling that this Zhao Zhao, or whatever his name is, is going to be like a Chinese version of our boys from Pollo Hermanos from um, Breaking Bad, which his name is escaping my brain at the moment. But, you know, he's, he's the guy from Pollo Hermanos, right? Um, I have a feeling that's going to be how it's going to play out. Or we're just going to basically produce in his um, Chinese food establishment. Apparently, it's like almost out of business, so that might be some income for him. Well, there you guys have it. This is um, Basement available right now for the story mode thus far. If you guys want me to mess around with the sandbox mode after this one, let me know in the comments. I'm leaving a thumbs up. Otherwise, um, stick around, and whenever there's a new update for more of the story, we'll definitely come back to it. I'm really enjoying it thus far. It's weird how it meant... It's a weird combination of, like, the game's mechanics, but also a little bit of story in there at the same time. I will catch you next time.